Hello everyone and welcome to a getting started guide for Tinker's Constructs for Minecraft 1.18. In this video we'll be going over how to create patterns, some of the starting benches, and most importantly beginning tools and armor. I'll be going over how everything works in the base mod, but some mod packs may add materials, change properties, as well as change some of the recipes. So keep that in mind when you're playing certain mod packs that some of the stuff might not exactly cross over, but generally it will do that. So without further ado, let's get started. To start off and throughout Tinker's Construct, you will need patterns. Now these are crafted with two wooden planks, two sticks, and you get three patterns. These can be used as crafting materials for the different benches, as well as you need them to make the bases for the tools that you will then make later. But I'll go over that in a moment. The part builder will turn your patterns and materials into tool parts. To craft it, you'll need two patterns and two wood planks, and that will give you your part building. Now I'll go over how to use this in more detail later because this uses a few other because this uses a few other items that I'll go over in a moment. The Tinker Station is used to make, upgrade, and modify tools and weapons. To craft it, you need three patterns and four wooden planks. And that will give you your Tinker Stations. Now that you can make the parts in this first tier of Tinker's Construct, you can only use a limited number of materials and each of them have their own special properties. They are, wood has cultivated, which a tool made with it will gain durability when repairing. Rock has stone bound, which a tool made with it will mine faster when the durability is lower, but the attack damage will decrease. Flint has jagged, which a tool made with it damage will increase when the durability gets lower, but mining speed will decrease. Bone has piercing, which a tool made with it deals bonus damage through armor. Copper has dwarven, which a tool made with it will mine faster the deeper you are. Leather has tanned. The tool doesn't lose extra durability when doing specific tasks it is not made for. String has stringy which a tool made with it can be repaired with string. Vines has solar powered, which a tool made with it is resistant to losing durability when it is directly under the sun. To make your tools, you will first need to select your materials. We've just gone over the list that you can use with this first tier of Tinker's Construct. For my example now, I'll be making a pickaxe with a copper head, stone tool rod, and a wood binding. First thing you need to do is take your pattern and place it in this left slot. You can also shift click it in. Now you have all the patterns you can make right here. Now, as I said before, we're going to be making a copper pickaxe. So let's take our nice stack of copper and we'll plop that in and let's find the pickaxe head. And there you go. On the right side, you can see copper the pattern value, which is two, material cost, I'm sorry, material value, which is 64. That's because I have a stack in it. So if I take it out and put two in. Up. As you can just see, if we only have one in, sometimes the value won't necessarily change, even though it will still disappear. So just keep in mind that as long as it appears here, you're fine. If it doesn't, then, well, it's not. Now we have a bunch of these other values here. So you have such as durability and armor if used in armor, but we're not using armor at this point. What we need is all right here. So if it's a handle, it will actually have less total durability. It will do slightly more attack damage than normal. It will have the same attack speed and it actually mines a little bit quicker. And you can see the Dwarven modifiers. So we're going to take that. Next up, we need cobblestone. So place the cobblestone in. 
look around and we're going to make a tool rod. So same thing, you can see it is slightly better than copper as a handle, but it's not as good as attack damage or mining speed, but it is still good. So we are going to take that. Lastly, we're going to make our wood binding. So we take our planks, look around for, ah, tool binding. And there we go. Now, one thing to note is that we have our head, our handle, and our tool binding. The way this works is your head will give you your head stats here, your handle will give you your handle stats here, and your bindings or some a lot of these other stuff like bindings, plates, and a lot of stuff like that will use this extra. So it will actually add no real stats to it, but it will give it a modifier. So personally, I use the extra stat for any good modifiers. In this case, cultivated. So we're going to take that. Now that we have our pieces, let's put it together. So without even having to leave, we can click the tinker station here. Go on our right side with all of our tools we can select. We're going to make a pickaxe. Put our head in, our handle, and then our binding. And there you go. We have a copper pickaxe. And you can see our durability Attack damage, speed, mining level, mining speed of everything, as well as our bonuses. So we got piercing, we got dwarven, cultivated, stone bound. Take that out. There you go. Now that you have these tools, if you hold shift, it will give you the stats that you saw on the right. And if you hold control, it will tell you all the parts it uses. So you can never forget what part is which on your tool. In Tinker's Construct, they add a few new tools and weapons you can make. Each have different aspects and uses about them. They are... The dagger does less damage than a sword, but it attacks quicker and can be used in your offhand as a weapon as well, so you can dual wield weapons. The comma will harvest and replant crops, shear sheep and other animals, and can pick up tall grass and shrubs. The mattock is a combination between an axe and a shovel. It can chop wood, dig dirt, and will till farmland. The pickaxe is a combination of a pickaxe and a shovel. You can mine stone, dig dirt and gravel, and create paths, but its mining level is limited to wood. Well, whatever a wooden tool can break, this can break as well. That includes mining level. If you like one of the tools that you make, you can also repair them. Now, for this example, I'll be using the pickaxe we made earlier. So you can see I got the stats right here. I also went and mined some cobblestone, iron, coal, copper, and some dirt. Now, if we come back over to our part builder, we are going to be looking for a repair kit. Now, if we take some copper and place it in, we can pick up a repair kit. Now, we can come over to our tool station and then we can repair it. The other thing you can do is if we take our copper back, you can place in the pickaxe along with your copper and you can repair it that way. So this instance, it will take two copper ingots to repair. Or if you want and do it in your inventory, such as if I go back into survival, I can take my pickaxe and the copper repair kit and Bob's your uncle, there you go. So you can use repair kits in your inventory crafting or in a crafting bench or in a ticker station, you can just take the tool and whatever you use to make the head. So in this case, copper for our copper pickaxe. You can also upgrade your tools by using various other parts as long as it is made in the original construction of said tool. And the other thing to note is you need to make sure your tool has full durability before you will be able to upgrade it. So with our newly repaired copper pickaxe, I can take, let's say, this one iron and turn it into an iron tool handle. So I can take this, place it in any of these three slots, place it right there, 
and Bob Jonkle, I now have a iron pickaxe with a iron tool handle. So I'll take that out and there you go. I now have it. Though in reality, to actually make the iron tool handle, you need to use something that we will go over in a later video. For right now, I'm just using it as an example. You can also get an early set of armor that you can make. This is known as the traveler set of armor. And the first bit we go over is the traveler's goggles. To craft this, you need three leather, two copper ingots, and two glass panes. And this will give you your traveler's goggles. I'll take it, whoops, wrong thing. Take it and put it on. Now what this will do is it will have one armor point and 110 points of durability. You can also upgrade these with its three available upgrade points and has two defensive and one ability slot. But I will go over the upgrades later. The traveler's vest is crafted with six leather and two copper ingots. It has five armor points and 160 points of durability. This also has three upgrade points with two defensive and one ability slot. The traveler's pants is crafted with five leather and two copper ingots. It has four armor points and 150 points of durability. You can also upgrade these with its three upgrade points, two defensive slots and one ability slot. Lastly, the traveler's boots is crafted with two leather and two copper ingots. It has one armor point and 130 points of durability. You can also upgrade these with three upgrade points and has two defensive and one ability slot. So with the full set on, this is what it will look like. A few things to note about this is that taking all the durability and the armor points into consideration, this is better, better than leather armor, but it is not as good as chainmail armor, at least on base stats alone. But the big thing is, is that you can upgrade this armor with various perks and abilities. But there is one thing to note about it in this early stage, is that you don't actually have any of the upgrades available to you at this point. To be able to upgrade your tools and your armor, you will actually need to progress to a later point in the mod. And I will go over all of this in a later video. And you'll be able to find those videos in the playlist listed in the video description. So that is all we will do for this video today. And now they have all you need to start your journey through Tinker's Construct. You can go and create a way. Create tools, weapons, and some fancy armor. That is all for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more Minecraft guides and the occasional other content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye.